Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a super exciting video. I literally should have made this video like two weeks ago, but I just didn't. As you can probably tell from the title, um, I have more crested gecko babies, more hatchlings, if you will. I always just am inclined to call them babies, but an actual person who like knows what they're saying would say, oh, they're hatchlings because they're reptiles. They aren't like baby humans. But anyways, I just like calling them babies. I don't know why. They're hatchlings, okay? I'll just... They're hatchlings. I just need to clarify that I drank like two cups of coffee before I started this. So I'm just very much awake right now. I'm in my prime. So for anyone who might be new here, I decided to breed my female crested gecko and Maddie's female crested gecko with my male crested gecko. So now my female and Maddie's female are both laying eggs and they will actually lay eggs for several months. So if anyone watched my previous videos about them, you know that I have four Crested Gecko babies right now. They each laid a clutch of eggs and a clutch is usually two eggs. So I'm sorry if you can hear the rain, my bedroom window has skylights and it's really annoying. So I'm not gonna stop filming because it's supposed to rain all night and I need to film. So we have four Crested Gecko babies, which up until fairly recently they didn't have names but we ended up naming them all so you know i just love to get really attached to things before i have to let them go so i decided to name all the gecko babies before i end up selling them inevitably so yeah actually pretty recently again recently as in like probably by now over a month ago but like three more eggs ended up hatching so now we have three more babies giving us a total of seven Crest Gecko hatchlings. We have named them all. They're all in their own bins. They're all really cute. They're all growing. And I just wanted to introduce you guys to them so you guys can kind of see how the older geckos have grown a bit because they're growing really fast. They were so small at first and they're already growing. So you guys just need to see how big they've gotten. But you also need to meet the brand new babies. And you guys are just going to love their names because they're just really stupid names. A lot of people have inquired about buying the Crested Geckos from me. I have not decided whether or not I actually want to ship any of them. It just makes me really nervous. I'm sure it would be fine, but I just something, I would just rather not ship them if I don't have to. So yeah, I'm gonna sell them but I'm most likely going to just get a booth at the local Reptile Expo and sell them there. But if I don't end up selling them all, then I'll most likely end up, you know, selling them to people online who want them. My biggest priorities as far as selling them goes is making sure that they go to a really good home. Obviously someone who is committed to them and I know will take really great care of them. And also I wanna make sure the process isn't too stressful for them. So I would rather not ship them if possible because it's obviously a really stressful process for them. I'll probably end up shipping some of them, I'm assuming, because I can't imagine I'm gonna sell all the Crested Geckos at the Reptile Expo. I don't know, we'll see. I just wanted to kind of clarify about that just because I've gotten a lot of people ask about them. So I haven't really decided for sure on any of that. If I ever end up selling them, I'll probably let you guys know on Twitter and Instagram. So follow me on my other social medias for updates on things that you want to know. All right, anyways, let's stop rambling and talking about boring stuff. Literally everyone complains about how much I talk in the beginning of videos and I can just, I, I understand it, honestly. Shut the heck up, Tyler. I just want to see animals. animals. So yeah, anyways, let's go and meet the babies. Let's go look at them. They're really cute and I'm super excited. Let's do this. All right, so over here in my animal room next to the closet, we have all the Crested Gecko baby bins just up against the wall. Hatchlings, I need to start saying hatchlings so I sound like an intelligent human being. Over here, we have all the Crested Gecko hatchlings tubs. And as you can see on the left side, we have four of them. Those are the first four that hatch. And then over here, these three are the three younger babies that hatched more recently. So going over here, let's just take a look. Oh yeah, up above them, they have their little soot sprite from my neighbor Totoro. 
just watching over them. Thank you, you're doing a great job. You are so important to this society. We're here, so we have their labels, we have the name, hatch date, and clutch mate. So this one's Tipton. Tipton's clutch mate is Mosby. And then underneath, we have Mosby, clutch mate Tipton. And then we have Prindle, clutch mate is Turbo. And then we have Turbo, Clutchmate Prindle. So hopefully you guys are getting the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody reference there. I just hope you are, I don't know. Turbo doesn't really fit <laughs> in them, but the rest of them are from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. In case anyone's wondering, yes, we wrote down the same hatch date for all four of them, although they did not all hatch on the same date. We just decided Hi, we just decided to record the hatch date a bit after they hatched, so we don't actually remember when they actually hatched. So we just wrote like an approximate time and we just wrote the same one for all of them. So it's not the exact hatch date, but it's close enough, okay? So then moving on over here, these are the ones that hatched more recently and we actually have accurate hatch dates. This is Bubble Buddy. I guess we didn't write clutch mates on these ones. This is Squilliam, and then that is Doodle Bob. So yeah, I'm assuming Doodle Bob and Bubble Buddy are clutch mates. I mean, obviously that's a SpongeBob reference, right? So obvious. I hope everyone else watches SpongeBob on my channel. If you don't, then I don't know what you're doing. Leave my channel and go watch some SpongeBob to cleanse yourself. We're gonna actually take a look inside and look at the babies, because I know that's all you came here for, so. So yeah, this is Tipton. We just gotta find him. Here he goes. Oh my God, focus. So yeah, that's Tipton. They have gotten a bit bigger since the last time you saw them, I think. At least I can tell the difference. They're still really small, and I wanna wait till they're a little bigger before I actually sell them. But look how cute and precious they are. Okay, so yeah, that's Tipton. There he goes. So next we have Mosby, who's kinda hiding here in this plant but he's really pretty. I actually really like his pattern. I think he's so pretty. I love the design on his back. He's a partial pinstripe and he's really silly. As you can see, he has personality, love that. All right, he's going to hide in his tube. So I'm gonna leave him alone now. Also, you guys better be playing the, uh, all right, so you guys better be paying close attention. I need you guys to comment and tell me which of the hatchlings is your favorite. It's a contest. We're just gonna see who wins. So there is Prindle. He's so cute too. Wow. He's just an absolute lad. Oh, he do the big jump. All right, bye Prindle. Could I have thought of better names? Probably not. So last but not least, we have Turbo. There's Turbo, he's a sleepy boy. Look how cute, he's just sleeping on the little leaf. Oh my gosh, I love them. We actually named him Turbo because when he hatched, he was like the fastest gecko, but now things have changed. He's grown up and he is the sleepiest. In case you couldn't tell from him sleeping on this leaf. He's a very fast boy or girl. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so yeah, that's Turbo. <laughs> there is Bubble Buddy trying to make the great escape. There he is. Oh, he's just a child. And then there's his reflection in the mirror. There he is. He's just, he looks so dumb. So that's Bubble Buddy. I'm gonna put the lid on before he crawls right on out. He's like, you have foiled my escape plan. How dare you? I've just ruined his entire day. So second to last, we have Squilliam. He's actually, it looks like he's a full pinstripe or it might just barely be a partial pinstripe. It's kind of hard to tell. He's like almost a full pinstripe. That's really cool. So yeah, that's, that is Squilliam. There he goes. Goodbye, Squilliam. So last but not least, we have Doodle Bob and he is going under the paper towel. There he goes. So that's Doodle Bob. Yep, there he goes. Okay. 
Goodbye, doodle bob. All right, so those were all of the crested gecko babies. I feel like showing them gets very repetitive. It's like, all right, you get it. They're baby geckos. They all look pretty much the same. Hope you guys enjoyed meeting them all. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for future gecko baby name references because inevitably there's gonna be more. My geckos are still laying eggs, so we're probably gonna get more babies as time goes on. So this isn't going to be the last video where you meet more babies. So that is it for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. Also check out my social media links and my vlog channel. Those will be linked down in the description below. And I will see you guys in my next video.